ಸದಾಶಿವ ಸಂಭ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ಲವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸೂತ್ರ which speaks about time in patanjali's yoga sutra it's a 174th sutra fourth chapter 12th verse time one of the important sacred sutra sacred secret from this sutra past and future exist in the present but they are not experienced in the present because they are on different planes this is osho's translation bhagwan osho's translation on this sutra let's understand little more deeply about this past present and future let us look little deeply about the this three different aspects of time the chronological time used by all the countries all human beings around the world as a standard shown by clocks understand the clocks are not run by time they are run by springs clocks are not running by time they are run by springs or electricity some gadget it is clocks which are running the time catch the truth time is not running the clock clock is running the time unfortunately you go on believing if the clock moves time has moved you miss an important fact what you believe you became that so the beliefs you carry either makes you or breaks you i tell you liberation from the time is the ultimate liberation the greatest liberation one thing i wanted to tell you all learn to be peaceful to be silent there is a beautiful great teaching given by subramanya the son of shiva to one great saint born and brought up in my native place arunagirinadar just in one word he gives the essence of vedanta summa iru sollara in tamil this means exactly just be without words i tell you learn the art of being in silence otherwise life is hell your old age is going to be hell if you don't know how to be silent because i am seeing just this last 10 days i am not going to the mission office lying down in the room how much you can watch tv and read books no if you don't know how to step out of time time itself will kill you
there will be a time in all your lives where the senses are not going to be functioning it may not be sick time but old age time where your senses functioning will not be directly productive so you will not be active you will not be expected to be active not only that there is a possibility you may not even be able to see tv and read books what are you going to do i tell you just like how you make money for your retirement old age make mind for retirement old age making money everybody makes money insurance medical insurance travel insurance old age insurance pension insurance you make money for old age but you forget to make mind for old age be careful making mind for the old age is very important don't waste life without making mind for old age learn the lessons of time the lessons of time should be the first standard lessons in our gurukuls in all our gurukuls the first standard kids should learn about time don't teach them how to see time in all regular schools they teach you how to see time how to find out time from the clock the teacher was teaching in the clock the big needle shows the minute small needle shows the hour the boy asked what happened to the third needle the teacher suddenly realized she is teaching beginners level lessons <laughs> because in the first when they teach in the schools they teach only about the two needle but in the practical life when you see the clocks they have three needle in our gurukul in our system before you teach them how to see time in the clock how to calculate time in the clock still i remember there will be a diagram big needle straight small needle side what is the time <laughs> big needle and small needle will be one on each other what is the time <laughs> and the exams you have to write before you teach all these things to our kids teach them this is not time this is what society believes as time but this is not time i tell you aging of your cells depends on your belief of time i'll prove through scientific research when you don't believe when you realize the truth time does not move the clock clock moves the time your aging will stop your degeneration will stop you need to understand this fact for thousands of reasons this understanding is very important let me explain reality reality is something which you can perceive through your physical senses or understand by the extended visualizations of the things which you perceived through the physical senses please understand example 
you see an elephant with two tusks. That can be reality. Or you imagine elephant with four tusks. That can also be reality. The extension of your physical reality experience. These are the only two ways to perceive reality. Let us use this check. Let us use this test on time. Do you perceive time? No. You can't see. You can't see time. As I said, It is just springs and gears which are running the clock. Time is not running the clock. I wanted to use a word. Immaterial active phenomena for time. Immaterial active phenomena you can't perceive through five senses and not only that you can't extend any imagination about time into the physical reality or the physical reality into time. See, time is not an extension of anything you experienced in physical reality or the physical reality is not an extension of anything you experienced in time. So the time is neither physical reality experienced by senses nor the extension of physical realities experiences. I tell you, just understanding about time, if you can unclutch after understanding about time, if you can unclutch, it will be complete unclutching. In the villages, they will sacrifice these goats. The Indian villages. Sometimes they will have a knife which will not cut fast. They will be sitting and rubbing drrr, 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 on the poor goat has to struggle. Some fellows will have a sharp knife, one tuck over. Head, will be, and head and body will be separate. If you just sit and unclutch, it is like a, having a dumb knife, which is not sharp. That is why when you unclutch, That sound of the urr, urr, urr is nothing but <laughs> the sound of the dumb knife. Urr, urr, urr. Understand the truths about the time. One hit, the head and the body will be separate. Time is such an important truth you need to understand. The chronological time, which you understand as time, I very clearly explained, does not exist. Second, the psychological time. What is psychological time? It is nothing but your belief about immaterial active phenomena. I can say only when your psychological belief about time starts happening 
it is considered as immaterial active phenomena till then in it is immaterial passive phenomena understand immaterial passive phenomena becomes an immaterial active phenomena but still it is immaterial i can say the chronological time is a immaterial passive phenomena psychological time when that psychological time idea is added with the chronological time it becomes immaterial active phenomena when you understand the cosmic time it becomes immaterial phenomena <laughs> what is cosmic time let us understand the psychological time the clock inside which is inside you tick 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 the clock which every object is carrying as i said yesterday the clock which is inside you that needle moves the moment you ask what next what next means boredom jumping from one object to another object one perception to another perception one experience to another experience moves that clock tak 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 today you see one girl and you say what next tak you eat one food and say what next tak you see one scene and what next tak in that what next what next what next ततकिम 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 भवानी इन दट वाट नेक्स्ट वाट नेक्स्ट वाट नेक्स्ट द सैकलाजिकल क्लाक मूव द एबिलिटी टू रेस्ट इन अनक्लच स्पेस इज द बेस्ट वे टू स्टॉप द सैकलाजिकल क्लाक stop the psychological clock first third level cosmic time understand this third level time it's very important bhagwan osho is the best translation in this five translations i have on the sutra he says very beautifully past and future exist in the present but they are not experienced in the present because they are on different planes understand now here we have seven planes each one of you are sitting in different planes i am sitting in different plane i am talking you are listening let me explain the future imposed past past imposed future future imposed present present imposed past present imposed present past imposed past future imposed future i'll give you exact examples if you are sitting here and thinking listening to my words and thinking about all the mistakes you did earlier and wasted your time you are in present imposed on past if you are listening to me and planning how you will execute all these ideas when you go out from today present imposed future if you are not even listening to me <laughs> just <laughs> you are uh, simply thinking about something <laughs> and something of the future past you are having some idea 
and thinking something about your past past imposed past if you are sitting and thinking something of the future and some development about the future future imposed future if you are sitting listening to me and just living that in this moment present imposed present understand here seven planes people are sitting it's almost like a seven different halls are here one person is sitting and talking and people are sitting in seven different halls in seven different halls different kind of mic different kind of sound different kind of voice see many of you would have learnt the lessons like listen only good things sometime you hear the truths like no 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 for your practical purpose you can change all these ideas you heard they all keep you in different different planes one man is sitting and teaching in one plane in seven plane people are sitting and listening see the fun and if they don't understand they blame this fellow only now i realized each cell phone has a different sound really each cell phone different voice different sound different way of hearing time is experienced in different planes past and future exist in the present but they are not experienced in the present because they are on different planes if you have the heavy personality means collecting memories from your experience it's like undigested particles caught in your intestine if you are collecting enmity from your life from various incidents see for example this fall i could have collected enmity from that horse that fellow he dumped me or this brahmachari was purposely playing the music in high tone waiting for a chance to take revenge are all the brahmacharis ashramites who are cheering up i can collect enmity but what is the use if you collect memories from the incidents past it gets stuck in your inner stain the undigested food particles get stuck in intestine the undigested memory particles gets in your inner stain inner stain enmity should be removed by the proper understanding the intestine enmities should be removed by anemia <laughs> just like anemia anima sorry anima for intestine we 
can you create a new word enemia for so the enema is for physical enemia for mental the process you do to clear intestine is enema the process you do to clean the inner stain enemia that's all allowing the particles of memory staying in your system constantly is dangerous allowing the memory staying inside undigested is dangerous i'll explain how the past and future exists in present but you are not experiencing it in a very detailed way in further satsangs the essence of today's satsang catch it the time does not exist as you understand or as you can imagine so all the ideas you carry about time and all possible extensions can be made from the ideas you are carrying are lies somebody asks what is time tell them lies if somebody asks you what is time it's a lie anything you say will be a lie if somebody asks what is time no i don't tell lies sit with this one truth time is a lie then anything associated with time including your thoughts or lies remember time is a lie then all your ideas built on time is a lie just sit with this one great truth do samyama and timeless understanding 